so what does that mean for F2 drivers currently? They're looking up at the top and going like, well, how am I going to get up there? They're all now resorting to looking at other categories to try and figure out what they're going to do with their time. Are they going to jump at the first opportunity of getting a reserve driver role? Now we've had some really bad examples of just getting it and then you're spending eternity in F1 limbo. No, drivers don't want to do that. They want to race. So go to IndyCar because there's more appetite for it. Go to World Endurance because the hypercars look really cool as well as the other classes, even doing some classic GT, that'd be nice. And then Super Formula, that's now getting some more interest and recognition. There's that ambiguity, which is sort of making Formula 2 less of an interesting option to catch up on when you've got the likes of WEC, IndyCar, Super Formula, even Formula E in a way. There's just so many more things to watch and Formula 2 is looking more and more like a dead end.